Gun rights and abortion rights are taking center stage across the U.S. Both issues are coming to a head in Louisiana. The state legislature approved a bill last week that would strengthen the trigger law already in place to ban abortion if the Supreme Court overturns Roe v. Wade. The law bans most abortions without exception for rape nor incest and increases criminal consequences for abortion providers. New Orleans Mayor LaToya Cantrell released a statement Wednesday criticizing the move, saying, quote, The Louisiana legislature has failed remarkably to stand up for the rights of women. These reckless actions will undoubtedly cause irreparable harm to women in Louisiana. And Mayor LaToya Cantrell joins us now. Mayor Cantrell, it's so great to have you with us. Thank you so much uh, for being here. So you want Governor Edwards to veto this bill, but he opposes abortion. So how damaging do you believe this law could be for the people in your state? Well, definitely damaging uh, to women in New Orleans and throughout the state of Louisiana. It criminalizes uh, health care decisions that should be made by us, by women, as well as as we consult our physicians. Uh, it is a step in the wrong direction, and it, it's criminalizing our women, and it's unacceptable. Uh, irre irreparable harm, absolutely. Uh, I don't know if the governor will veto um, based on decisions of the past, highly unlikely, and um, it really does bring harm. Uh, to our women, and it's unacceptable. Mayor Cantrell, switching gears, there have been 16 mass shootings in Louisiana. That's the highest per capita in the U.S. What needs to be done to address this? We have to be focused on not just mass shootings, but shootings that happen on a daily basis in cities like New Orleans throughout the United States of America. We know that we have to look at this in terms of prevention, intervention, as well as personal responsibility, but gun laws, smart legislation relative to gun control has to happen in this country. In addition to that, cities need resources, federal resources, so that we can help meet people where they are. Hurt people hurt people. And we didn't just get here overnight. But we definitely need to focus on gun laws, strengthening the partnerships between ATF as well as the DEA, and keep criminals off of the street. That is our approach in the city of New Orleans, but the criminal justice system has to work as a system. Criminals are arrested, but they need to stay off of the streets. And that leads to your district attorneys, that leads to your criminal judges as well as juvenile court judges. And, Mayor, sadly, um, your city, New Orleans, is no stranger to gun violence. According to AH yep. Daylytics, the city of New Orleans is on track to have its deadliest year in terms of homicides yes. since the 1990s. So how are you working to address this? Yes. So we had our best record in 2019 in 50 years, and definitely this COVID-19 pandemic rocked our community like communities throughout the United States of America. Focusing on, one, we created the first ever Office of Gun Violence Prevention in the country, making sure that we're focusing on prevention, intervention, as I said, as well as personal responsibility. Nothing stops a bullet like a job. Right. So we have to make sure that we're providing workforce development training and opportunities for placement. But you know what? In addition to that, the city of New Orleans did something uniquely in this country. For the first time, passed a millage to support early learning, zero to three. Again, education matters. Mm -hmm. Holistic, meet people where they are. We need the resources. Jobs certainly make a big impact in so many ways. On another topic, Mayor, how is New Orleans dealing with this high level of inflation? You know what? We are seeing it heavily, no doubt about it. Uh, we are a community that has a majority of renters, even our folks that live at or below uh, the poverty line. So we know that it's hitting our folks. At the same time, we're seeing our economy bounce back, and, and that is a step in the right direction, people getting back to work. You know, we are a destination city. Uh, we are a cultural mecca for the country and for the world. So we're seeing our major events come back, not only Mardi Gras, but we hosted Final Four. We had Jazz Fest, our French Quarter Festivals, thousands of people returning to the city of New Orleans, which is, you know, pushing a real shot in the arm in regards to our economy. 
and that of the state of Louisiana. Well, we do know that New Orleans is a much-loved city to yes. many <laughs> Americans. I love New Orleans. Right? Yeah. Across thank the country, you. people love to come to your city. So thank you so much, Mayor Cantrell, for coming to see us here. We appreciate it. Thank you so much.